Welcome everyone to a new Unreal Engine tutorial. Uh, today uh, it's a voiceover because I messed up the sound recording. And please don't look at my artist, it's completely private. This entire city must be purged. It's another project, I'll talk about it soon. So, for this video we'll need Marlemin's OBJ exporter. Uh, and I'll explain you how to export buildings and map tiles. So let's just pick a random building like Garrison and pick an orc one. I'll, I'll take a minute to find it because sometimes it's a bit tricky. Um, but yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll eventually find it um, anytime now. And apparently the display in the program is not working, I don't know why. But hopefully it gets fixed soon. So you just click it and export. To OB as OBJ. It takes a while sometimes. Okay, now it's done. Um, and we're gonna get a map tile. So we click on maps. Uh, we choose um, whatever we want, but um, I chose Eastern Kingdoms and I chose a random tile. Um, if if you want the objects uh, that are in that tile, I'd click export WMOs and export M2s. Um, I'll explain a bit more about that later. Um, but yeah, um, then when you choose your tile, you just click export map tile. And um, yeah, uh, it also takes a while sometimes, so just be patient. The program is not crashed, probably, but it can be sometimes so now we're gonna go to C4D let's just first make sure that everything exported correctly so as you can see the map tile is here uh, you just have to drag it but um uh, this is usually very organized so as you can see everything is in its own folder and um, f as we exported um, the in everything inside the in was exported too but if we only drag the in, only the building appears. So th this sometimes happens. So just click all the materials and and tick all these. Um, you can keep alpha, but um, that's something we'll fix later in Unreal when I talk about materials. So as you can see, the basic building is here. Now to import everything into C4D, um, we'll use a plugin. Uh, in the folders from OBJ Exporter, there is a plugin for Blender and one for C4D. I won't explain how to install them, you can easily find them online. But um, to use it, it's very easy. You just go to Plugin, Wow Export, and open f in File Browser. Um, then you just have. The, the display is not working very well, so you have to type it by yourself. Uh, it's it's another bug because it's an old plugin apparently, but um, it's 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 um it's quite easy to just write it out. So we just go to the folder where the item is, and um, we just type the name of the the building we want. So we just click it, open and then start it, it loads for a bit and then bam we got the building with everything inside just make sure to delete the old one so um, as you can see everything is here banners shields tables whatever but make sure to delete some things like this some um, weird floaty thing as well as the f you, you, sh you should delete it as well as the flames I'll, 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 I'm about to show you now because um, you, you, you can add your own flames in um, Unreal Engine and they will look definitely better than this so just get rid of it um, yeah um, now you, you got the building so you're ready to export it here I export it as FBX please don't do it it will mess everything up just export it as OBJ because you'll see it messes everything up later. So, OBJ, keep that in mind. 
So now we're gonna test if the map is working properly. So just drag it here. As you can see, everything seems to be working fine. But um, you, you just delete this, maybe uh, click it and then go to Mesh, Commands and Optimize. Uh, yeah, you, sh you should do this, but um, it's not really mandatory. Then you can export it as an FBX or OBJ. In this case, I guess it doesn't really matter because unless it has stuff on it. Um, the method for a map tile with everything placed is the same as I showed for the building, so you can easily do it. So now, back in Unreal, we'll just open our map from last time. As you can see, I placed Thumbshare here for whatever reason, so... Yeah, uh... Yeah, I'm being goofy right now. Uh, anyways, I open my tutorial folder. It's very unorganized as always. Keep it organized, please. So I'll just create a new folder and call it objects for example, I don't care. Um, so just open it uh, and select um, your building and your map tile and just drag it in. So for this we'll make sure to have your import um, scale for 250 um, because that's how objects work for whatever reason and use your material from the last tutorial because um, then we'll differentiate some materials but that's for the materials video that I promise I'll do okay but um, I'll, I'll, I'll procrastinate till then so just 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 keep this you can keep your materials because hopefully it won't crash and then you just have to it import and uh, it, sh it should work fine So now everything is imported. This is what happens if you export it as an FBX. Everything is divided. You don't want that. So make sure to export it as an as an OBJ and avoid this madness because it took like 10 years to load all of this. So anyways, we'll we'll try to find our map and um drag it onto the screen. Um sometimes it's a bit laggy, so just bear with the program. Uh, so yeah, uh, you can see that the map is very far because it has the placement from the WoW map, so just, just go a bit further and try to center it. Um, if you have multiple tiles, make sure to place them all first so they are uh, well connected and then you move them all at the same time, otherwise it will be a big mess and you won't be able to place them correctly, so just do that after you've imported them. So Now we've got it somewhat centered um, yeah it seems to be working fine I don't really spot any bugs um, so now we're just gonna put the building on it and see if it works again I'm in the middle of this file mess so I'm struggling to find the in as expected but um, I, I end up finding it, so that's that's something, I guess. Uh, so I take a while, but um, I got the interior. And the exterior, and I'll repeat, if you export this as an, as an OBJ, everything will be in the same object, so you don't have to worry. I also messed up and brought a few other folders which messed up the textures. I was lazy to film this again, but I assure you, this should work, I think, I hope, because there was an update for the OBJ exporter, but let's, let's believe in the creators. Uh, so yeah, everything seems to be there, uh, the import worked kinda, but um, it, sh it should work for you, so now let's just pick a character for scale to see if everything is has the right scale, so... Um, uh, again, I'm struggling a bit because um, I don't like making tutorials. Um, so let's just put a random character, why not Arthas? Let's just throw Arthas, Arthas into the scene. So as we can see, the, the, the scale is about right, so... Yeah, that's everything for this tutorial. 
Uh, next tutorial is probably the sequencer tutorial and then probably the material one because I dread making that one. And yeah, that's everything. I, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned something. And yeah, uh, see you next time.